Hello guys, and today in this video, I will show you on how to do the tilt control glider movement, and exactly this is how it's going to be. Just going to give you the intro part right here. I'm going to grab those coins, and this is on my kite stadium. And here we go. So there, as you see on the top of the screen, you want to get that, um, want to turn on your tilt controls. And this is how it's going to be. Really, on this turn right now, you're just going to do this with your controller. And you want to do it at an exact point, an exact point, as you'll see right now. That was bad, but you'll see in this next round right here, this is how it's going to be. And, yeah. It's going to come up any second now. And right here, I'm going to turn it on. And here we go. Exactly like that. Now I'm just gonna show the hands and it won't come up on the gameplay though. So really as I told you since before, what you really want to do is just have your, your controller very tightly and then all right let me just say this so really what you want to do have your two hands on it turn on your your tilt control then start doing it as you'll see right here you're just gonna tilt turn that on then right now I'm going to use my boost, and if you want to gain height, want to have your stick down to show that you're going to get some altitude, and also turn. So if, in this case, you want to go to the left, you're going to go down. So really, take it as a compass rose, you're going to go southwest, all right? Okay, and you'll see here, and that was good, and I'm going to show another example. Alright, grab that coin. Alright, that wasn't that good. And you go here, grab that coin, pause, turn on. There we go! And then turn it back off. And grab that coin. Jump there. Put on the brake a bit, go right here, turn it on, alright good, turn it off, wasn't that good, no matter, just do it for the video. And there we go, at the last second, turn it up, and do that, and there, we did it. Good, that wasn't a new record, 
But, well, at least I did it for you guys. Now you guys know how to do it, and hopefully you can use it in your time trials. And all, really almost all of my videos are going to be on helping you do time trials or tips and also just showing you how I did my time trial and what you, and what you can learn about it. And thank you, and I'll see you next time.